long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, say that those who climb the mountain never return. Undertale. Hey everybody, it's Train of Shy Guy, and welcome to Undertale. I have only played this game for about an hour before I deleted my save and stuff so I could do an LP for you. So, that being said, this is a blind LP outside the first hour, and I will let you guys know like when I'm when I'm, you know, done. I went, or when it's blind for me. Um, but yeah, this game has gotten a lot of praise. And um, I'm really curious why. And um, from what I've played, I really like it. There's actually been a lot of... Um, like, there's been times when I've wanted to play this game, but I couldn't because I knew I wanted to LP it. And uh, yeah. Our name is... Shag... Whoops. Yeah, our name is Shaggle. That, that's her name. Um, I was talking, so I wasn't focusing on that. Anyway, her name is Shy Guy. Is this name correct? Oh, well, yeah. It's a bit shortened, but... So this is us. We, um... We have a very... We look very blue. It's a joke. Laugh. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Let me move around. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. Oh, not level. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Okay, guys, if a stranger walked up to me and tried to give me white stuff, I don't think I'd be so eager to take it. But, you know, it's, it's a flower. What harm could it possibly be? Move around. Get as many as you can. Alright, I'm gonna... You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh, die. Uh, no, 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 no. What? What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. So, um, the first time I saw that opening, it, it 
that really surprised me. I didn't expect that at all. I, I tried to act a little surprised for the LP, even though I've already seen it, but, you know. There we go. These, um, these red petals, I think, they're not leaves, um, they remind me of Cave Story. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. She stepped on the switches. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions beyond diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. What if I step on this? I think. Alright. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I've labeled the ones that you need to flip. Stay on the path. Okay, thank you. Um, this game was actually made by a fan of Undertale, um, Toby Fox, aka Radiation Online. Um, but I'm a huge fan of Undertale, and one of my friends, one of my friends is too. <laughs> Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. Are we gonna fight? However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Hey man, what's up? Am I in your personal space yet? You encounter the dummy. Um, so we got, we got options here. There's the regular fight option, which you see in lots of RPGs. Act, which allows us to do stuff like talk to things or check them out. Item is self-explanatory, and mercy is basically you don't have to kill anyone in this game. Um, whenever the spare option is yellow, you can spare them, and they will, you know, not they'll just leave without having to kill them. And that's the main gimmick of Undertale, is that you don't have to kill anyone. And um, there's multiple endings, depending on what you do. I'm not really going for a particular route, because um, I just want to play the game as I know it, like as I want to. But um, yeah, battle. Frogged attacks you. So if we attack, if we act with the frog, we can threaten it, or we can compliment it. I don't know why I hovered over like threaten when I was explaining compliment, but I'm gonna compliment him. Frog didn't understand what he said, but I was flattered anyway. Well, I'm glad he was flattered. <laughs> All right, when I when I played the game for myself, I I just killed everything because I knew I was gonna restart it, and I didn't see that. I forgot about that. This isn't possible, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. So, there's a certain path. I hope we don't need to remember that later, because I... I... I didn't pay attention. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Well, I... I guess I didn't really fight anything. You've done excellent thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Dot dot dot. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Ominous music. What if I go this way? I can't. Okay. I guess I'm gonna walk to the end of the room. I don't know why, but I feel compelled to like stay on this path. Um. But yeah, this game was made by a fan of Earthbound, which I'm, I like that game a lot. I, uh, I have both Mother 1 and Mother 2, aka Earthbound, on the Wii U Virtual Console. And uh, yeah, this guy was made by a, or this game was made by a similar, or by a fan of those games. So it has a similar feel. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, 
There was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It is dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Is it Samsung or Apple? If you have need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? So when a game tells you to do something, you must immediately then therefore er you must when a game tells you not to do something, you should then therefore go do it. Although this game is very different. But I'm gonna go do this anyway. I don't wanna stand around. Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to solve them by yourself. Be good, alright? Click. So if we hit C, we can bring up our menu, and we can actually... We can actually, like, say stuff to Toriel. So we can say stuff like... Hello! This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then... Hello! I hope that suffices. Maybe say hello again. This is Toriel. You want to say hello again? Salutations! Is that enough? Um. Again. This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given you a, bo a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to to dive to to divide? God damn it! I can't talk. Why not use your imagination? To Divert yourself. Pretend you are a monarch. Roll over a leaf pile like, with a fist of iron. Can you do that for me? Yes, this is my leaf pile. Oh god. I'm being challenged. You don't even look like you want to fight. Oh, there. You see how his name is, um, his name is Yellow? That means that we can spare him. And we don't have to fight him. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Oh, I didn't even talk to this frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, now we just cross around there. There we go. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, what she prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? This is actually like a really, really hard question. And um, but when I played through it before, I I picked cinnamon, and I I really don't know. I like both of them, but this time I'm gonna go butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Alright, let's go. Ring. Hello, oh, this is Toriel. You do not dislike him, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. Here, let's, um... I think it's a little too soon to call her mom or flirt with her. But I do know that you get a really funny line if you do that. So, um, I'm gonna call her mom. And then, um... You, you actually get a really funny line. If you, if you flirt with her after you call her mom. So I'm gonna do that just to show it off. Huh? Oh. <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You certainly find... Oh, wait. Okay, what, what if I flirt with her now? Oh dear, are you serious? And after you said you wanted to call me mother? You are an interesting child. Anyway, I just wanted to show that off. Um, oh, battle. Oh, Frogger, how close. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna check him. Frogger, attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. Pop, pop. So this is how combat works in this game. You have to... You have to avoid the attacks. Those aren't friendliness pellets. Um, the battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. I'm gonna compliment him now. Brock didn't understand what he said, but was flattered anyway. Flushes deeply. 
pivot. And now he doesn't want to fight me. See, I might, I have no idea what I'm going to do for this game yet, because I, I haven't played much of it. Ring. Hello? You don't know how many allergies, do you? Huh? Well, I'm asking. No reason. No reason at all. Anyway, um, I have no idea what I'm going to do for this game, because I kind of want to, um, I kind of want to play a lot. <laughs> um, okay, here. Pay attention to where the leaves are and where they aren't. Please don't step on leaves. So if you... Now if you just walk... Um, where the leaves are is where you will fall down. So you want to walk only where the purple floor is down here. Mold Small blocked away. Oh, we can already... We can already spare him. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna imitate him. You lie immobile with Mold Small. You feel like you understand the world a little bit. Sexy wave hole. Yeah, I'll spare him. I I just like I love games with like flavor text, so I really really like this game. All right, so it was right here. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? See, stuff like that, I just, I love humor in my games. I think... Ah. Oh god, a battle. I thought I fell down for a minute. Um, I'm gonna threaten him. Rob didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. Shiver, shiver. With this attack, you just go up, and you'll, you'll make it. So now we can spare him because he's scared of us. So there's, there's a lot of ways to play this game. Um... With this, we have to push these. Um, after I show off all of the, um, all of the dialogue, like all the unique dialogue, I'll probably be cutting out random battles, seeing how this, how this is my first RPG on the channel. Um, but yeah, now there's two mold smalls, and we can actually spare them both at once. But if we... I want to show you guys what it's like to, to play with them. You will be pissed. Moldsma will be back. What a meaningful conversation. Squarch, fine town. Uh, just because, you know, this is an RPG, so it has lots of uh, random battles. Moldsma always waits pensively. Um, I'll check it. Moldsma attack 10. Attack 6, defense 0. Stereotypical. Curvaceously attractive. But no brains. Oh god, oh god. Okay, now we'll spare. Um, but like, I, I, I generally like to spare the enemies. Just because they don't want to fight. Unless they do. Well there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. That, that, that's not enough. Hmm? You want me to move over some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Alright, thanks man. You're real right. You dirtbag. Hmm? You want me to stay there? You give me a real workout. Thank you. God, was that so hard? Oh, here's our save point. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. Fills you with determination. If you haven't noticed, determination is a theme in this game. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this episode, and I will see you guys all in the next episode of Undertale.